So you see people begin to buy. Wait, wait, wait. Did I mess this up over here? Oh, that's swing time. No, okay, umbrella color. So you get to see some kind of like park demographics. Where did people buy things? And where were they when they chose to buy things? So it looks like virtually no one has purchased an umbrella from this kiosk. Is it closed? Yes. Ugh. What a goof I am. So it lets you kind of see where your, your, um, where your park people have been and what they're doing. Yeah, see, now they're... Look at all these people buying umbrellas. And they avoid rides that are, uh, you know, not good when you're outside in them. So the roller coasters become kind of less used. Log flume, doesn't really matter. I think I'd probably jump right in the log flume uh, where I had to do it. But yeah, so you can see uh, all these people. Kind of allows you to do your own kind of demographic study almost. Oh, neat. So we have the observation tower now, which is just a great little... Feels very real. Feels like a real ride. Where it's like not super exciting, but you get to just see stuff. You can go up really high, and I think that's probably really great out here in the countryside, right? Like, probably really beautiful stuff. I want to put it right here so when they go up, they go past th this uh, walkway. I think that would be really fun. I'm just going to make it super high, and I think the higher it gets, the more expensive it gets. I could be wrong. But yeah, imagine being able to, to go out here like way up in the sky and just kind of see all this out here and um you know having a great time i think that's awesome you notice the further we get away from the sounds the less sounds there are Ooh, here they are they're back so we'll make the uh, entrance here and the exit here close that out i don't i don't imagine there needs to be a long line for this but maybe not a short one either you never know so we'll uh We'll make it as long. We'll make it longer than log flume, because <laughs> that makes sense. Let's make this a dollar for the kids. You know, I think that's fun. I think uh, if I were a kid, I would definitely. Well, no, I wouldn't. I would hate it. Uh, I don't like heights, but um, if I were a kid who liked heights, I think I'd really like that. Ooh, that's super, super ugly. Just my style. And let's make this uh, make this sky blue. Double sky blue. We'll call it, uh, Earth Looker. Let's open that bad boy up. Yeah. Excellent. Let's see what uh, people are thinking about the park. Big excitement is good value. They want to get off the sky look. That's interesting. Sky looks not exciting. Feeling sick more thrilling. There's plenty of thrilling things in the park. I actually missed that last little thing here. What was that? Scram time. It's broken down. It seems like scram time breaks down a lot. Once again, this is a simulation of real life where these kind of things break down all the time. Let's uh, get this thing inspected a little bit more often. I mean, it was only inspected seven minutes ago. That's not really my fault, I guess, but just making sure, just making sure that uh, this stuff goes good. It looks like they're keeping all the flowers watered. That's really good. Makes me happy. We can, uh, we can build a funny statue over here, maybe. Let's see what we got. Yeah, let's build a little fountain. Fountains are fun, right? Let's do that. Whee! And we can, uh, we can expand the street over here. Let's make a little... Let's do that. We'll expand the street. Kind of give people a little bit more uh, walking room. You can have lots of windows open. Let's put let's put benches here. People seem to like spending time over here. And I support that. And we'll put uh, we'll put some water. Put a little water feature. I mean uh, a flower feature. Why am I saying that? We'll do boop boop. We'll make it arty. Boop boop. We could probably spell out a name with this if we wanted to. But I don't want you. So it's September of year one. Uh, the 7th of September. So uh, we're doing great. We got 637 guests. We have 838 park rating. It's just a beautiful little time. We can continue to decorate a little bit. Uh, we can put some more flowers over here. I, I, you know, I'm a fan of, like I said, I'm a fan of flowers. 
I think people like those. Put some over here. It seems like this is a little congested, which is fine. I'm, I'm not super worried about congestion. Look at that. Look at that line for this. Let's, uh... Oh, because it's free. What the heck? No wonder it's great value. Let's make that thing $2. What have I done? Ugh. We could pay back a lot of our loan. Let's do that. Let's pay back two grand of that loan just to make sure that we're in good hands. Let's uh, spend $700 on a big marketing plan. I think that's fun. Let's see how much money this is uh, has done. $50 per hour almost? Oh no, $142 per hour. Where running cost is almost $50 per hour. I think that's fine. I think that's great. What a nice uh, what a nice little experience we've got here. We could build a car ride. Car rides are fun. Oh, we could build a haunted house. Let's do that. Real, real spooky time, 5,000. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. And we'll make it a dollar. Because why not? We're rolling in money. Call it. Ew, I saw a ghost. With an exclamation point, of course. It's, of course, a haunted house building. Nothing else to do about that down there. A little short line. A little side thing here. Let's try to build something real creepy in front of it. What uh, what do you think is there that's real creepy? Let's see. A dolphin. Dolphins are creepy. Just a, a weird water. A unicorn. This looks like the the tomb of the unknown soldier slash a dolphin. So that's pretty. That's pretty creepy. Let's go with that. Where's this guy want to go? What are you thinking? Wants to go in something more thrilling than you? I saw a ghost. Well, fine, whatever, bud. Have a good time. So you see the park's kind of growing up out here. I, I like the idea of that. I like the idea of kind of weird, gross park, and that dude's out there just killing it. Look at that. Boom, mowing. Being a good sport. I don't see uh, any gross stuff on the ground. That's good for us. Let's see, is it by the end of October? Or by October? The end of October. But yeah, it doesn't really seem like we could lose at this point. I don't I don't know what would happen to, to make us lose, but, you know, we can always find a way to mess it up. Let's see what the research is going to get us. It's going to be hedge maze. Excellent. You can make your own hedge maze. I've never been good at that. I've, in fact, only been terrible at it. But we've got a nice little spot to put it. We can put it right here. It's great for us. Um, and let's get rid of gentle rides. Let's just get some thrilling rides for our park. Choo-choo train's doing good. We could We could decorate here a little bit. We could build. We could build some hedge. To get people scared. Oh, here's a real hedge. Let's build a real hedge. And we can do mini maze. It's a little bitty. We can do spiral maze, which is real big. Mini maze almost fits over here. Bloop! Right on in there. Maybe that was a line that was a bit too long for uh, Earth Looker. Mayhap. Oh, that would fit so nicely right there. What if we did it this way? Is that the exit? Hard to know. And, oh, so that's probably... That's probably the entrance. So we could do, like... Um... I don't know. I can't believe I'm, I'm having my, my mind broken by a uh, hedge maze. Hmm. I would really like to fit that there, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. We could do it right here. Let's just see what happens. Nope, can't even construct that there. All right, let's just waste some space and do it over here then. And that's sadly exactly what I thought was going to happen. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, the longest line for a hedge maze in human history, and then boop, boop. We can widen this road over here. 
Give people a little bit more room when they come off the bridge. Uh, I wonder if we could do this. Can we... Oh, yeah, we can widen it up here, too. That's fun. Let's make a little set of platforms. Oh, crap. We want that to go down. Oh, yeah, wow. This series is going to get some really exciting stuff going on. Based on the fact that I know how to do this now. All right, so let's do this again. We'll go down. And boop, 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 boop. Boop. Giving people plenty of room to get over here. Well, to get there, not to get over there. They still think that my park entrance fee is really cheap. I'm going to let them think that. I'm very happy to... Uh, I got a lot of pride in my park. This is, of course, called the Shining Maze. It's scary. My cats are running around. They're so excited about what's happening here. That's, of course, why this is gray for some reason. The, the creep-tastic color. And... Um, what else is going to happen here? What else are we going to do here? What am I doing? Oh, I need to hire another mechanic. So yeah, you start juggling lots of stuff. Uh, as you've seen so far, it's a lot of uh, it's hard tuning mechanics. We're gonna make one only do inspections. That's all he does. He doesn't fix anything. He just makes sure that other things are happening. So yeah, you can see there's like a lot of downtime that happens, and then a lot of like busy, busy, busy things are going on. You gotta juggle them. I don't know if that's what it's like running a real park or not, but uh, sure, that's what it's like running a real park. Got this, this is just super weird. Doesn't make any sense, I love it. Let's align it with, this is sit. I wonder if I can do that up here too. Yeah, yeah, give some people, well, they can sit on that corner up there. You big, big creepos. Do that, boom, boom, and then boom, boom. The cat is yelling at me for some reason. Looking great. People checking their maps, doing stuff. I wish it would rain. Let's competitively price this thing. I mean, let's, like, really... Let's get this thing down to a dollar. Let's really make people want to go to a thing they don't want to go to, because they can afford to. And this price, I remember being pretty weird. You actually want to kind of get relatively round prices, just because people actually have money in their pockets. We can actually see here. So I have 2970, yeah, and the reason they probably have that, I'm assuming, is because of this weird pricing that happens over here. If you keep everything to round numbers, it makes things easier for them. Yeah, see, I haven't been correcting these to be like real adult prices yet. Ice cream's good, y'all. What else are we going to get? Pizza stall. Pizza stall. We can do mini maze over here. I'm a big fan of the hedge maze. I don't know if they actually make much money, but... Oh, no, we can't. I thought we could. My bad. Oh, wait. Can we? Try it over here. See when you, you, you turn the map and the whole world... Turn the map and the whole world's map turns with you. Nope, doesn't fit there. Boop. Let's get back to our original look. Original viewpoint. People, what are they thinking about this? You can check and see what people actually think about this particular ride. So they don't want to pay this much. So just reduce the price. Take that price on down. See what happens. Now, uh, in the future, when we're making bigger parks, we're going to have kind of bigger through affairs. Um, you know, you kind of make a T intersection at the very beginning, and, or you make like a big three lane all the way through kind of thing. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. You know, kind of doing this kind of big interplay stuff. But uh, this is just our first kind of park. This is our chill park session. I've gotten so excited over the course of this. You would not believe that it's a chill park session, but it is. We're on the 17th of October. We're almost done with... What's this level? What's this called? Forest Frontiers. Let's change the, ne the name of this thing. Let's, uh, let's call it You and Me. We're best friends. Park. Just to kind of show everybody what's up. You can see you and me. We're best friends. Didn't say park, though. 
Maybe not enough room. Maybe not enough room. So it's just a great little experience. What are people thinking about Choo Choo? Choo Choo Choo's you. They're probably thinking it's too expensive as well. Yep. Uh, so, so things begin to devalue the longer they're around, and so actually, sometimes you it uh, makes more sense within the game just to demolish something and build it again, or build a different version of it, because people will begin to appreciate it more. Let's finish up hedging this thing for our chill time, cool guy experience. Keep you from solving the hedge maze. All right, pizza stall, awesome. I like the, the roof of pizza stall. Like, everything else kind of looks like pizza, it does not. It d they did not make the effort with Pizza Stall to make it on-brand, as it were. We'll put a Pizza Stall right there. That's not the best place for it, I'll admit, but... It ain't the worst, either. Bow, bow, bow. Pizza Stall. Here we go, over here. We'll make it part of our kind of run-up that we've got here. We'll put it, uh, put it right here. Boop, boop. I think I can make thing, yeah, same price throughout park. 150. Which means the other stuff is not the same price. But it will be now. And like I said, I, theoretically I guess you can, there are patterns of gouging that work. Of charging people more, charging people less. I don't really know, I haven't done those, I haven't really experimented in uh, extracting the most amount of surplus money from these people and so yeah eventually what you have to start doing you see this vomit here eventually you have to start doing things like just hiring people to do one thing sweep footpaths that's all this dude's gonna be doing and making them just cover very specific areas just because the amount of space gets smaller Let's make him just go right here. It seems like this is a real vomit vomit town high over here. So that's all this dude's gonna do. Swoop footpaths on this vomit hill. Which is super gross. Two more days of the month. Two more days of this level, and we'll see if we have won or if we have lost. People are still down on this ride for some reason. It's just losing its luster. Maybe we'll take it down to 50 cents. Maybe that will reinvigorate the train. Oh, and also I guess it, well, no, that's not even a full load of people. It's not enough. It's not enough. But on this side, everyone's way into it, so who knows? The vagaries of the consumer. Who even knows what they're thinking or what they're up to? Not this guy. God, I've been talking about Roller Coaster Tycoon for a full hour. There we go, we did it! Look at us, look how good we are. By us, I mean me. We achieved the objective with a company value of $15,000. This whole place is worth $15,000. Good for me. Enter my name, it will be... Jumpy Jones! You and me were best friends. What a great park. All right, so thanks so much for watching this opening uh, video. I mean, it's going to be cut into multiple videos, but it, I did it all at one time. The ones in the future, of course, are much longer and won't be able to be done in one time, but you've got an idea for uh, how the game works, and we can just do some neat design, maybe make a less ugly park this time. But uh, thanks so much for watching this uh, opening level, and hopefully we'll do some more.